Our latest project brought us back to California. Follow along as we transform their home space by space in our Calabasas remodel project. When our clients reached out to us, they had just bought a new home and everything inside felt like the 1990s. Uh, we needed to update it so it felt like the young, cute family that they are. So today we're starting with the great room. It had wall-to-wall -wall carpet, the firebox was too small for the scale of the space, the drapes were very overpowering, and we really wanted to design a ceiling detail that capitalized on the grandness of the room. So with a long space like this, we knew we needed to divide it into two areas. So we did a formal living, formal dining, but not too formal. Our clients love that sunny and bright aesthetic. We knew we were going to be doing white walls and they liked the idea of some contrast. So there was wall to wall carpet and then right outside of that area was tile. We ripped it all out and replaced it with beautiful hardwood floors. The floors give it a little bit of depth with kind of this brownish gray tone. Before, the drapes were huge. They had pattern, they were dark in color, they puddled on the ground, and they were operable, so that created a lot of extra fabric. We decided that we would just do stationary panels to give a nice texture to this space, but then we layered with a woven shade, and this is one of my favorite ways to get that California coastal look, is to layer wovens with drapes. The space is grand and the ceilings are tall and so we wanted to draw your eye up and we did that by doing a really great tongue and groove detail with beams. After the finishes were installed, we designed the furniture and then it was time for install day. We busted through the install, photographed and videoed all in one day and now we're going to show you the result. This great room is the first thing that you see when you walk into the home, so it was important that it felt inviting and very conversational. The fireplace is the big focal point here, and we didn't want it to feel too formal by doing matchy-matchy vignettes on either side, so we did different things. It's asymmetrical, but still balanced. You can see that the depth of color is balanced throughout the room. You have this really great substantial bookcase and then this charcoal sofa and then the indigo vintage artwork. I really like that in the living room we've used contrast and depth, but then in the dining room we've complemented it by bringing the natural tones over there, but keeping it more monochromatic. And we have a lot of similar natural colors, but we've varied the materials, like woven textures and wood tones. I really like that the dining room is quite minimalistic in nature, and that we finished out the space with one big statement in the center of the table. The vase is large in scale, and the color really pops. Altogether, we love that this great room came together in both a formal and approachable way. You can head to our blog to see a full tour of this space.